Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to part 3 of my Windows customizations video. Um, in this video I'm going to teach you guys how to change the start button. Uh, you can go to the link in the description, the Windows Club, and download the file. Save it. It's a zip file, so you're going to need something to unzip it, probably uh, 7-zip, 7-zip will do, it's free. Open it. And just drag that right out to your desktop. You can delete this. And now if you go into the folder, you can see that there is a license agreement in the must read. Um, so just take a quick look at that and then uh, go to Windows Start Button Changer and just run as administrator. And this will come up. Now you guys have probably noticed before um, my Start Button is an Alienware symbol. Um, these are called orbs. There are 10 of them in this folder. The link I give you in the description has a ton more, so we're just going to go ahead and go to that. This pack has 150 orbs so we're just gonna go ahead and download it make sure if you have an account on DeviantArt you say thanks to this guy and this is a RAR file so you're gonna need some kind of program to open up RAR files um, RuneRAR is a program that can do it I'll leave a link in the description as well as 7-zip and so let's just open it you just drag it out to the desktop and it's on your desktop now you can delete this and now if you go into your start buttons folder you are going to see a ton of orbs and if you want a better view you can just right click click view and click extra large icons so see which ones you guys like set them aside or set them uh, or give them a unique name and just make it easy to find and remember to always run the executable as administrator just to avoid any conflicts okay so what this over here is telling you is that it will automatically back up your Explorer as you have now so that means your start, bu start buttons will be backed up automatically before you change it so we're just gonna go ahead and try it out one other thing I forgot to mention is that unfortunately with this button changer it only takes bitmap files other uh, Windows 7 start button changers can take uh, JPEG and PNG but this one only takes bitmap so in your start button you're gonna have to look for something that says uh, with an extension BMP bitmap and just set that aside for now look for one that you like and we will change it to that you can actually use the filter up here and just type in BMP and I already know which one I want it's going to be this really cool skull and I'm just gonna copy and paste it to the desktop so then it's easier to navigate to
So now just click select and change start button and it will ask you to navigate to the bitmap file. And the reason why it has three um, looks to it is because it's one is for the normal look, one is if you hover over it, and the other is if you click on it. So that's why it has three different orbs. So now you can see that my desktop restarted itself and or Explorer restarted itself I should say. Now you guys should notice that the start button has changed and it looks really cool. Um, you can the reason why mine looks like this is because uh, a bit cut off is because I shrunk my icons if you guys haven't noticed and you can do that in the properties. I like it smaller better. Okay, so if you wanted to change an orb again, what you would have to do is restore your original backup and then change it because if you change it over the one you have now, then it's going to it's going to back up this one over here. So I'm not really sure if that makes sense to you guys, but like I said, anytime you're changing the orb, restore your original first and then change it. We didn't do that the first time because it's already backed up to the original that you had automatically. And um, just please do that or you're going to miss your very old uh, start button. Well, I personally don't care for it anymore, but uh, you guys might want it back, so yeah. And that's pretty much it, guys. Remember that if you want to change the start button, you always run the button changer as administrator and restore your uh, backup before you change the orb. Please comment, like, share and subscribe because it really helps me out thank you guys